Well, it's another lovely day here at Stowe Hill, and here comes another lovely boat. She's called Parvelous. She's a 44-foot, 6-inch cruiser stern narrowboat, built in 1996 by Peter Nichols. She, and she's currently, over the course of 2019-2020, undergone quite an extensive refit and modernisation by the current owners, and she's lovely, I must tell you. The paintwork's in good condition, the front and the back of the boat, and the roof were all repaint, repainted in July 2020. She was last blacked in July 2020. Six coats of blacking were put on her, so no shortage of protection there. The engine and gearbox were serviced in 2021, February. And there's a full survey available for viewing in the office from February 2018. There are 350 watts of solar panels on the roof. And the well deck is three feet long and the two gas bottles with a changeover valve and bubble tester are in the forward locker there. Bench seats either side of the well deck. The water tank's under here. It's integral. That was fully repainted in 2020. It's about 80 gallons. Storage under each of the seats in the well deck. Useful for squirreling away bits of maintenance equipment and paint and that sort of thing. Lovely front doors. They've got glazed panels in. And then we go. She feels really cottagey, this boat. She's fitted out an oak face ply with sapili trim with oak tongue and groove to the cabin sides. The floor throughout is oak effect Carndine. The saloon's nine feet long. The boat does feel really spacious, I must say, and there's lots of storage on her. That's a super comfy click clack sofa bed. That was new in 2019. The television on the wall, that was new this year, 2020. It's a 24 inch smart TV, a Toshiba. There's also a Pioneer car stereo on the boat to speak in the saloon and bedroom. Solid fuel stove, that's a villager heron. Storage under the steps and over here. Some quite useful cupboard space. Good sized shelf there with shelves over the top of that. There is under gunnel lighting in the saloon. All the lighting on the boat is LED. And head height on the boat is six foot three in the middle. The so galley's next, six feet long. The cooker, that was new, quite a lot new on this boat, sound like I'm repeating myself, but I am. That was new in 2019. It's a Thetford three burner gas hob oven and grill. The kitchen was all refitted over the last year or two, so it's all new. Uh, the fridge isn't new, actually, that's that's from, from before, but that's... A, that's um, a shoreline 12 volt fridge with an ice box. Solid oak worktops in here. Stainless steel sink. And some shelves over the sink in the corner there. And on the port side, I don't know why more boats don't use this space, but it's under gunnel cupboards. Really good storage. So everything you need in here, really. And there's the view from the aft end of the galley. So the bathroom's next. This has all been refitted. We'll come back to that wall, it's fabulous. The loo itself is a Thetford Porter potty. More under gunnel cupboard space here. Basin ceramic, it's quite a stylish countertop type affair. Very deep cupboard underneath that for screwing away your bathroom essentials. Some shelves in between the shower and the cabin sides there. And the shower itself is a vinyl lined cubicle with bifold doors. It's got a thermostatic mixer bath thing. There's a light over it as well in there. The bathroom itself measures at five foot six inches long. The penny wall. Now I haven't counted these and I quite simply don't have the time but there's a few quid there. The bedroom's in the back of the boat here. There's a good sized wardrobe here. That white box you see on the wall is a Forcali instant water heater. It's got a dedicated sterling propane inverter for that. And the bed arrangement itself, it's two singles. 
six foot five inches long, two foot three inches wide, or they make up into, well there's various ways of configuring it, but either a king size bed or a good size double. Storage underneath, and the inverter actually is under this one, it's brand, well, new in 2021, yeah, a Victron 1600 watt inverter is under that bed along with storage. So that's 230 volts catered for. There's also a landline hookup. The engine's in here. The engine was brand new in 2017. It's done about a thousand hours since it was installed. It's a B to 20. Engine and gearbox serviced this year in February. The battery bank's in there. They were all new in 2020. There's 310 amp hour domestics and one starter. So a lot's been spent on this boat. Lovely taffrail around the back. Very nicely maintained woodwork. And there's the view from the helmsman's position. So let's have another walk back through. I think I mentioned the water tank, 80 gallons repainted in 2020. I ought to mention the solar panels were brand new in 2019 as well, the 350 watts. There's a cratch cover on board. That's stored in a cupboard in the saloon. And she's in really nice condition. Lots of space, lots of storage. A lot being done to her. And there we go. That's marvellous. Isn't she marvellous? <laughs> That's a bad pun, isn't it? There we go. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboat.co.uk.